This video describes the transthecal digital block technique, an alternative to the conventional digital blockade technique. In this technique, the first step is to place the hand of the palm face up and to carefully identify the flexor tendon. You can do this by palpating directly, and if there's any doubt, have the patient flex and extend the finger to identify the tendon. You'll use a 3cc syringe with a 27 gauge needle attached. You're going to advance at a 45 degree angle heading in a distal direction toward the finger. Keep in mind, your goal with this technique is to inject within the flexor tendon sheath, but not into the tendon itself, which could potentially damage the tendon. This allows infiltration of the anesthetic through the flexor tendon sheath and out toward the digital nerves. Thus, your injection should be slow, and it should be relatively resistance-free as you inject the anesthetic. If there's too much resistance, you may be within the tendon itself. Slow, careful manipulation of the needle and syringe should be used to find the exact correct spot. Here's a second example of another patient with more close-up views. Remember, sterile prep should always be used per local protocols prior to beginning. Again, flexing and extending the finger can allow you to palpate the tendon more easily. As a bonus, because this is kind of a painful area to inject, you can use a topical ethyl chloride or freezing spray in order to numb the skin before your injection. Again, you'll take that 27 or 25 gauge needle on a 3cc syringe. You'll inject at a 45 degree angle advancing toward the finger distally. Use slow manipulation of the needle and very slow injection and make sure when you do inject that anesthetic you're finding a place that's relatively resistance free. You should only need to use about 2 or 3 cc's of local anesthetic and the anesthetic is the dealer's choice but typically lidocaine or bupivacaine without epinephrine are excellent choices for this technique. You'll notice that both of the patients used in these examples had tight rings around their fingers and in fact stuck rings were the reason for the use of transthecal digital nerve block in these situations to facilitate removal of the rings. The final step is to apply proximal pressure at the site of injection to ensure distal flow of the anesthetic. Further description of this technique and other techniques in wound repair can be found at www.lacerationrepair.com.